I would say one of my favorite hooks that's not a lyric is just that guitar part. The da -na 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 -da -na -na -na. The minute you hear it, you know what it is. When it's played out somewhere that they don't know I'm in the room and it comes on and I just see them perk up and like look over, I'm like, that's what we were going for. Hey guys, I'm Chris Young and here's the hit story of my song, Famous Friends. I've got some famous friends you probably never heard of. You know, everybody has their own idea of what the word famous means. Uh, to me, it's really about the people that are famous to you and famous to maybe not the world at large, but uh, in your hometown, your close friend group. You know, I think this is an important song for people and, and one of the reasons that I think it kind of had this huge life of not just being a hit song, but being a song that means something to people. Those are maybe people that don't get the, you know, the tip of the hat. The idea came to uh, me and Corey and Carrie Barlow while we were out on the road. One of the very first songs that I've actually ever released from a bus riding trip. One of them was Raised on Country, one of them was Famous Friends, and they both got written in the same weekend, so pretty crazy. This song, honestly, we never really got stuck anywhere. This was one of those that, we wrote this song in about 45 minutes, and it was like, I think it's done. One of the biggest lyrics for me was when we had the idea of, when I go back home, I've got some famous friends. Once we kind of had that and kind of had the idea of the chorus, Corey was like, yeah, dude, you just took off and started like writing the verses at light speed because it, it's all honest. This is all people that I know and people that I grew up with. Actually, Carrie played that guitar lick and the bass part on the bus and we kept it. We never had anybody replay that part. So that's just him like lying into a computer on the bus with his guitar. And it was just so good. I was like, what? I mean, we could have somebody just replay your lick or we could keep it. That initial, man, I love this. It sounds so good from that bus trip became what people hear on the radio. Kane actually became part of Famous Friends uh, the day that we wrote it. Once we had the demo, I was like, this could be really cool if it was a duet with, with two guys. I've actually known Kane since before he had the record deal on Sony. I got introduced to him through some mutual songwriter friends of ours. I had been writing on some of his songs. I had guessed it on one of his records prior to this. This was the first time I got to invite him to guest on one of mine. Sent it to him, just text him, and was like, hey dude, give this a listen, see if you even want to be a part of it and he fell in love with it. And actually one of the reasons that Famous Friends came out as a single is because last summer in, in 2020 and all the craziness that happened there, he teased it on socials and I did too. And it kind of took on a life of its own and the label was like, hey, we think we might have something here. Pretty cool way for that to actually end up being how this became a number one. For me and for this song specifically, I think one of the most important things is actually the bridge. As much as the chorus and the hook of the song are, are kind of what you know people remember, just that I got friends in high places on these small town roads because around here it's all about the people that you know. It just encapsulates the whole core of what the song is. I got friends in high places on these small town roads because around here Everybody in this video is either a friend of mine or a friend of Kane. There's no actors in this video. We didn't want it to be, hey, we hired some actors to be in this. My buddy Brandon holds a record. The very first person I name is my buddy Brandon. He is the guy, if you watch the video in the firefighter suit at the very end, that is not an actor. He is just that crazy in front of a camera. The first time we actually got to perform it, I think it was already in the top 10, which was so weird because normally that's not ever the way that that works, but with the craziness that was 2020 and even going into 2021, it just worked out that way. And it was uh, kind of going from zero to 100, getting to play this out live for the first time. I think you always hope that a song is gonna be a hit, but for me, once it gets past 20 on the chart, and once you have people texting you about it that you haven't told them or you haven't heard from in a while, they're just reaching out to you randomly going, I heard the new song, love it. It's a really good sign. You just feel it. There's just uh, this almost indescribable, I think we got a hold of something this time with a song when it starts taking off. And I definitely felt that with Famous Friends. 